Hey guys, it's Hafo again, and uh, this is another tutorial, um, mainly on After Effects, but it can be incorporated with Sony Vegas or Final Cut Pro. And basically what we're going to be doing is that ring effect you've just seen on the preview, where the rings come out of the sniper, and it looks really awesome. And uh, yeah, it's really easy to do as well, so let's get started. Uh, you go on, you're going to want to open um, After Effects again. And... Uh, yeah, that is really it was a really cool effect, and I uh, hopefully it shouldn't be too hard for you guys either. And um, basically, I'm gonna save it as an MP4 file, so I'll probably put the link in the description to mine if you can't be bothered doing it yourself. But I'm sure you will. Anyway, <laughs> just while this is loading, um, thanks for the response on my other one, my other tutorial. Uh, I got yeah, I didn't get loads of likes and whatever, but considering I only uploaded it earlier. And I've already got quite a lot of... I've already got some people who I don't know sub to me, which is good. <laughs> and, um... Yeah, if you enjoy my tutorials, please do keep, like, liking the videos. And, and then I'll continue to do more. Because I enjoy doing them and... I don't know, I like helping you guys. Okay, so first, we're going to open up a new composition. Uh, comp 1, yeah, go. Right, and then we're going to basically, um... Import... And we're going to find our clip, which is the one I'm going to use. Wait, what am I even doing? No, we don't need this. Sorry about that. It's going to go new, solid, black solid, and just click OK. And then you're going to want to go on effect and generate. And then it is radio waves. Now, as you will see, it will create loads of these little wave things. Which we don't really want. We just want one. So we're just going to, first of all, change the color to white. And I like to change the width to 20. No, I'm going to change it to 30 and see what that looks like. Okay. So I'm going to go 33. The thicker the better in my opinion. And go... Um, frequency to 0 0.1. And that means that we just get the one ring. Bam. There we go. <coughs> Sorry if I'm talking slightly quiet. My family are in bed. <laughs> Uh, um, 33. Okay, maybe 35. I like the, I, in my opinion, honestly, I prefer them to be thicker. Okay, so that looks fine. As you can see, it's just the ring, and that was really easy to do. And now, what we're going to do is, we're going to go on composition, add to render queue. First of all, you, there's loads of things you can change with this, but I'm not going to cover all those. Add the render queue, and I'm going to just change my output. I'm going to send it to my desktop and save it as rings one. No, save it as rings, it's easiest. And then just click render. As you can see, it's rendering really quickly. But just a tip for um, After Effects if you want it to render even quicker, push the caps lock button. Yeah, you don't get this little preview, but honestly, it goes so much faster. And if you're not that bothered about looking at a preview, it's pretty well, it's fine. So uh, I'm just going to quickly pause the recording while this renders, as I don't have the fastest computer. See, yeah, it won't even let me get in the corner. Brilliant. Right, here we go. Right, so guys, we're back. That rendered. It took about, I don't know, two minutes. And uh, basically we've got this file now. And if I play it, you can just see it's just the rings. It's fairly slow. But we'll soon fix that. So what we're going to do is we're going to open our editing program. It, yours may be... Sony Vegas, but I'm going to be using Final Cut Pro. And um, anything that you can screen clips with will be fine. You could do it in After Effects, it'll just take a lot, long, a lot longer in my opinion. But yeah, while that loads, um, I may put this file in the description for those if you cannot be bothered, you know. But um, I'm sure you're all I'm sure you're all perfectly capable of making a ring. But if you don't have After Effects yet, yeah, I will. Good point, Mr. Half. Anyway, this has taken a while. I'm tempted to pause it, but no. Nah. You can wait. Thank you. There we go. So I'm going to just open... I prepared a file earlier just for the tutorial purpose, and all it is is just um, a little synchronised clip. I'll just play it for you. Just a synchronised clip which I made earlier. You can do your own. Me, 
Sorry about the little red mark, I sometimes get that on my screen, it's just a little error. It won't show up once it's rendered. So uh, we're going to go on import files and then I'm going to import my rings. Here they are, and I'm going to literally drag it into a new video. And where I've marked the shots, I'm going to start and I'm going to go on to the time adjust key. This can be done differently by speeding it up in Vegas or anything else, you just speed it up. But you're going to want to just have the ring fly in, like really quickly. So I just need to write this video, it's going to take a minute. So look at this. So yeah, that was pretty good. Let's watch it again. You can right now I'm gonna take this, duplicate it by control V in it, and drag it to the next shot. And uh, basically that's about it. It's just literally dragging it and uh, changing the size of the thing. So I'll show you the finished article. Right, here's the finished thing. Or, just to make it more interesting, I can add... Explosion. Explosion. Uh, it's just a dull explosion and it just makes the last shot a lot nicer to work with. So I'm just going to drag it on to where's the last shot. I think it's there. So, I want to line it up with that. And I'm sure a lot of you will have seen this. This effect I'll leave in the description also. And uh, it's just a really nice one to edit, to end a clip with. Turn up the level of it. Oh, fail, wrong clip. Um, this one, yeah. Sorry about that. There we go. Let's try this now. Very nice. So, um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Hope it's been alright for you guys. And, uh, yeah, thanks and sub to me for more.